A plan to build Dunedin's first five-star hotel may rise from the ashes, though many heritage advocates wish it wouldn't. Tekapur businessman Anthony Tossel now says he will appeal the decision to decline dis consent for the 17-storey building that's been dubbed the Electric Thistle. A panel of independent commissioners last month turned down the project for resource consents because of its visual impact on the heritage city and the way it would shade nearby public spaces. What's next? Well, our Otago Southland reporter Ian Telfer has this. The hotel sites a Dunedin City Council car park and the council's been trying to smooth the way for the hotel without bending the legal resource consent process. At the site today, people were divided on the plan. I think it's really ugly. I think it's a blot on the landscape, to be honest. Couldn't they build it down by the harbour? So 17 storeys, glass Fantastic. hotel? Fantastic. Would you great. like to see it? Love it. I, I think it, it's a no-no. More jobs. We just need more jobs. The developer, Anthony Toswell, says he's not giving up and might be able to offer a new design or drop five storeys off the top when he gets to the environment court. But a co-founder of the inner city group City Rise Up, Meg Davidson, says the hotel's height and glassy look are all wrong for the city. Dunedin is not up for sale. We, we don't have to sell ourselves to, to, the, to the highest bidder. We do have a right to, to wait until something appropriate comes along. And I just don't know why people with that much money can't hire architects that would come up with something appropriate. It's proving hard to get a five-star hotel across the line in Dunedin. A high-profile attempt four years ago to build a 27-storey tower on the waterfront also got declined. That has the Otago Chamber of Commerce worried and trying to broker solutions. A local conference organiser and former Chamber of Commerce chairperson, Ali Copeman, says she's pleased the developer's not giving up. She says it must be possible to build a decent-looking five-star hotel. It is a little bit embarrassing, the negativity around the decision. It, it, it affects the mood of the city. People just wonder where, what we have to do to get the investment in the city. We've obviously got people who want to invest here. We have to make sure that we're working with them and communicating openly with them so that we can move forward. The developer, Mr Toswell, says he's changed his mind about appealing because the project has too much public support to give up now. He says he'll look at a new design and making it smaller, but he can only go so far. My job as a developer and with the fact that we have the support we allege we've got in Dunedin for it, is to make sure that we design a landmark. And a landmark, as I said, that complements the cathedral and the town hall adjacent to it. I don't know how a little building of five storeys is going to do that, nor is anyone ever going to stay in it, nor is it going to be a five-star hotel. So, I mean, someone needs to wake up to these points and to appreciate what we're trying to do for Dunedin. Mr Toswell says he'll lodge papers for the appeal within the next week, ensuring Dunedin's five-star hotel debate just keeps going on. In Dunedin for Checkpoint, Ian Telfer.